Hello guys, MJ205 here. And just a quick unbox of the crossbow and the mouth I just bought. And well, I just take the cover. It's just out this year. Just last month. Today's May. And uh, yeah, it's out in April, so. But I bought it for $120 approximately. But it sells for $180 Hong Kong. So, hell yeah. And just a quick unbox. Just take a look at the plates in the bags and I'll be done. Maybe it's a little messy, I don't know what you think. Because I'm quite busy around here. Just show me in the comments of what you think. And will I tell me will I do it plate to plate or just in the bag? So yeah, here is the effect pass for the for the big pirate sword for the beam saber guns and the safe crossbow gundam sabers in here all the but it looks kind of metallic over here and yeah the skull eyes the gundam eye almost every single power generating power generator parts are stickers but you can paint them if you want but it won't have the metallic effect and all the off gray on the gray. Yeah, and the uh, crossbow gunnum's famous crossbow backpack. Yeah. And over here we got some red for the feet. I don't know what the hell is this. And for the beam savers for the chest. And here's the satellite cannon molded inside and all the inner frame pieces. Plus some accessories and custom hands. And I don't know what the hell is this. And ah, oh, drop the fuck. It. Okay. And here are the crossbow sabers. They look small in proportion, much smaller than I think. And the famous skull opening skull for the satellite cannon. And over here the V fin, the vents, the neck. Ah, the the chest vents over here. And I don't know what the hell are these. Okay. And it's down to the instruction manual. Okay, just recording on a stupid principal chair. So nothing to see. All the details about the crossbow and the mall. It's a bit small compared to the original Gundam. Yeah, and it's built by Yasaka Mao. Yeah, but we only got the Master Grade Crossbow Gundam X1 and shrunk into this. And plus the X Mao. And I don't know why they showed the dendrobium here. I don't know. And the Skull satellite cannon. They didn't show the purple sticker over here. And all these awesome posters, and I like this. It's kind of Cerevi style. And this, these V hands must be came from the Nobel Gunner. Yeah, and the lineup, and how you can make this. Yeah, I don't know how did I make this. Maybe just paint it. Look, paint silver over it. I don't know. And here's the parts count. And all the things that you need to prevent. And we start from the torso plus one accessory. And the head, the shoulders. They're on ball joints, yeah. And also how you do this because the feet, the ankles, the leg, and how and the waist and it's all assembled together without the backpack. It's a double pack system, so you can use the adapter that comes with the build booster to plug in any backpack. That's a single pack system. All right, in the backpack, the beam saber guns, very twisty. I'll show you in part two how many joints are there, and the whole backpack, the bones, and yeah, and yeah. They say it's a beam samper. Maybe it came from the crossbow gun full armor X1. And the beam sabers, just one piece. And I don't know what's that. Yeah, the the beam buster rifle. And there's a custom hand for holding it. And you can connect them to, to make a sound buster. And yeah, the VT daggers, the crossbow rifles. And how you can mount these. And they tell you to parts form the skull into the open mode. But I'm gonna try just opening it and how to use those beam saber guns. Okay, so yeah, 
podcast about it. And I'll see you in part two.